Hello again, uh, I'm here with another video, this time uh, related to power transmission and the relation of power to torque and angular speed um, and calculating the, based on the material property of this shaft, uh, determining the, uh, the diameter. So here it says the gear motor can develop three horsepower as it turns at 180 RPM. If the allowable shear stress for the solid shaft is 14 KSI, so that's the material property, determine the minimum diameter in inches for the shaft. Okay, so basically we have to take the power, the three horsepower, uh, and so power is equal to three horsepower and convert that to uh, pound foot per second. So we know one horsepower is 550 pound foot per second. So HP and HP cancel. So we end up getting 1650 pound foot per second. So that's the power now converted to this unit. Also, omega should be converted to radians per second. So take the 180 RPM, which is revolution per minute. And we know one revolution is two pi radians, right? And one minute is 60 seconds. So basically, anytime you're trying to convert RPM to radians per second, you just have to multiply by two pi and divide by 60. So it comes out to be about six pi, or exactly six pi radians per second. So you see how rev and rev cancel, minute and minute cancel, so the final unit is radians per second. Now, power as it relates to torque and angular velocity is based on this equation, power equal torque times omega. So I can actually go ahead and find the torque that is acting on this um, shaft. So if I take the 1650 pound foot per second and divide it by 6 pi radians per second, you see how radian is dimensionless. Second and second cancel, so I get something in pound foot. So that's 87, about 87.58 pound foot. So now I want to change this actually to pound inch. So basically, because you see how the value of the uh, shear stress is in KSI, KSI is 1000 PSI. So um, I just have to multiply that by 12 because one foot is 12 inches, right? So the feet and feet cancel. So this becomes about 10,000, uh, I'm sorry, 1050.9 pound inch. All right, now the last step is to calculate the diameter. Well, we know that maximum shear stress is equal to TC over J. C, C is the, um, uh, the radius of the shaft and J is the polar moment of inertia. We could actually modify this equation so that it would be in a more convenient for, form. If instead of C, I put D over two, instead of J, I put pi over 32 in terms of diameter, D to the power four. This equation actually becomes more convenient. It comes 16 torque over pi D cube. And then we can go ahead and directly solve for the diameter. So D cube becomes 16 torque divided by pi tau max or tau allowable and if you just take the cube root of this right then you can get rid of the uh, this guy right so let's go ahead and plug in 16 times this torque in pound inch right you can actually put the unit so you see in fact it the unit comes out to be inches remember this is the cube root Pi and tau max is 14,000 PSI. 14 KSI is 14,000 PSI. PSI is pound per inch squared. So you see how pound and pound cancel, we end up getting inch cube. Inch cube comes out of the uh, cube root as inches. So we get 0.726 inches. So the minimum diameter of the shaft for this shaft is 0.276 inches. Uh, so you could get, have a larger you know, diameter shaft, but of course it's not efficient. So you want to be uh, efficient in terms of the cost. Okay, I hope you like this video. As always, thank you for watching and listening.